Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Balls, and today we're back with another catch and release. Uh, I found another very interesting snake species by my house today, and uh, this one's very special. A very special species of snake, and uh, I definitely felt like I should share this with you guys, so let's check it out. Okay guys, so right here I have uh, this snake's enclosure, um, and don't worry, this lid, it's a loose lid, it's not sealed, so it can breathe. But in here, I've just set up a very natural environment for this snake. And um, this was also, um, the uh, I made this also with the help of my neighbor who also helped find the snake. But right here, I mean, we've got a rock and we got a stick and some leaves. It's pretty simple, water and a lot of dirt because this is another digging species. And uh, this species does live in very moist a, a, a very moist environment so this was sprayed uh, quite thoroughly and they hide under rotten bark sticks rocks uh, if you have any wood on the side of your house um, they'll be under there um, but let's see if I can find this guy in here I don't want to crush him so see if he's under any leaf bark here he is hey buddy so today we've got a pine wood snake and uh this i mean as you can see this is a very small snake uh no uh just a little bit bigger than than the ring neck in the last video um but these guys these guys are native to the southeast United States, so Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, and uh, even Louisiana and Alabama. So these guys are so interesting. Um, they're pretty uncommon, actually, uh, but I see them uh, quite a bit uh, in my area. And uh, they, are, they are a uh, fossorial species, which basically means that they they dig and they live in burrows underground uh sometimes and they also live under stuff so close to the dirt they're terrestrial um and they're called pine wood snakes because they live in uh, pine wood forests uh flat forests and they live under bark and uh, rotten bark rotten wood tiles sometimes and they are uh, uh as you can see very light brown kind of a burnt sienna almost with that pale belly and um oh shoot he's musking hold on guys okay so i just got myself cleaned up he's in here uh i'm gonna leave him in here for a bit uh maybe i'll take him out later to show you guys but uh as i was saying they their coloration it's very uh like brown so they camouflage well in the in the ground and they are a venomous species they, um, they're not harmful to humans at all, but they do use that venom to kill their prey. They are, uh, they're an endangered species in Florida and, uh, endangered and protected in Georgia. Um, they're pretty uncommon, um, but, but not too uncommon. I do see them quite a bit. Um, and this one is really, um, an interesting specimen of this species because it has a, a kinked tail, and that kinked tail, uh, that's a genetic disorder, um, and it doesn't seem to be affecting the snake uh, so much. It definitely looks like it can eat and uh, poop, but and it's only on the lower the lower tail. But um, that is a uh, a disadvantage for this particular snake, um, and this particular snake is very very placid. And they're usually placid, this species. Um, they're not too aggressive or defensive um, or skittish. They're very calm. And uh, the diet of this species is mostly small lizards, baby lizards, and small frogs. Uh, so you probably wouldn't want to keep this as a pet. Um, they, they're not so high maintenance, but their, their, their diet could be an issue for you. Um, and I won't be keeping this as a pet. This is also in a temporary 
uh, enclosure and I will be releasing this into the wild and you'll see that at the end of the video. And uh, as you guys can see in this is in this enclosure, this temporary enclosure, um, I have a, a nice big rock uh, and a stick, a nice big stick and some bark pieces for it to hide in. Uh, this water dish, it's a little bit too big and uh, tall for this particular snake, but it should be doing fine in it. It did, it did drink uh, a little bit of water. And there's some leaf litter, pine needles, uh, some moss, ferns, and uh, a nice big amount of dirt for it to dig around, feel comfortable. So if you are going to keep a species like this, uh, for catch and release, I would recommend that you have uh, a nice naturalistic enclosure uh, with the proper care, um, with the proper situation for this, for the particular species, and in, in my case, the pine wood snake. All right, so here's one last look at this guy. Um, he does have this kinked tail, if you guys can see that, uh, this kind of zigzag thing, and it's really only on the lower tail, so it's not affecting him much. And he's so calm, really placid. Uh, right now, he's in a bit of a mood, but earlier today, he was just, like, sitting on the floor, not moving. And uh, even outside, he was just laying in my hand like this. So, uh, if you do encounter one of these snakes, it's really interesting. I recommend that you, guy, that you, uh, you pick it up, take a look at it. Uh... Because uh, it's a pretty rare find. Uh, you don't see one of these every day. And uh, it's, it's really nice to see one of these now and again. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, comment with any feedback uh, about uh, this, the video schedule that you guys like to see. Uh, before I had some sort of a, a monthly upload schedule. Now, I just uploaded two in one week, but I might go to like a weekly if you guys think that's a good idea. Um, just let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.